Hey y'all, it's Erin with Twirling Down Main Street. If you're new to the channel, welcome, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. This is part five of my series, Universal Basics. If you missed parts one through four, I will link them down below so that you can catch up with those. In this video, we're going to be talking about shows that are at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Starting with Universal Studios, The Bourne Stuntacular is an awesome stunt show. It follows the Bourne movies, which I have never seen any of them and I still really enjoyed this show. It has a lot of special effects and cool stunt acting and fight sequences and it's a really cool show to watch. It's also really cold inside the theater so it's nice on a hot day. Just know that there are some sequences with like fake gunshots that are still pretty loud. So if you have kids that are sensitive to loud sounds like that or might get scared, uh, just keep that into consideration. Next up is Universal Studios Horror Makeup Show. I have never been to this show because I'm super squeamish and even if it's makeup and stuff I don't like horror type stuff. But I've heard it's a really funny show and it shows you kind of behind the scenes of how they do the makeup and some of the effects for like horror movies. Next is my favorite show, which is Animal Actors on Location. This show features a bunch of animals that do tricks and it's so cute. Each show is different, so even if you watch it multiple times, you never know which animals they're gonna use, what tricks they're gonna do, or even how the animals are gonna react. Uh, my favorite are the kitty cats because they're trained, but you can tell they only do things when they want to. You know anything about that? It's just a really cute show. It's very family friendly. It is my favorite show at Universal and I make sure to watch it every time I'm there. The following shows that I'm going to talk about don't have theaters, but they happen just kind of like in the streets. There is the Blues Brothers show, which is a musical act and it's located across from The Mummy. You'll see the signs up and you'll definitely see when they arrive in their car. Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees perform in Diagon Alley. This is a fun show to catch. It's nice to hang out in Diagon Alley and watch them perform. They also have a special show at Christmas as well. So if you're there during Christmas, it'll be different than the normal songs that they sing. On that same stage is where the Tales of Beetle the Bard is performed. This is a theatrical performance and it mainly features the tale of the three brothers. It's really cool. It's got puppets and special effects and it's a really cool show to sit and watch. There's also a Fear Factor show, but that is closed right now due to COVID. Also Universal's nighttime show, Universal Orlando's Cinematic Celebration. Um, sometimes it happens on the weekends, but mainly it's closed right now, but that's a water projection type show that happens at night. Also during the day, there is sometimes a water show that happens at the Central Lake in Universal Studios. I don't know if there's any times for that, but usually we just happen upon it. You'll hear music and you'll see the fountain shooting up as well. Another favorite show of mine is the Beat Builders. They are like a drum group and they're on a construction site and they use their construction equipment to make music and everything. And it's just a really fun and funny show to watch. Over at Islands of Adventure, there are only a couple of shows. A couple of these shows are in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Hogsmeade. The first one is the Frog Choir. So you can hear a choir sing and they have their frogs as well. And that's really cute. They're not real frogs, they are puppets. And they sing some familiar Harry Potter songs and it's really cool to watch. Also on that same stage is the Triwizard Spirit Rally. So you'll see students from Durmstrang and Bowbatten's Academy. The Bowbatten's girls twirl ribbons and it's really pretty to watch. And the Durmstrang guys do like a martial arts type routine. In Seuss Landing, they have Oh the Stories You'll Hear, which is where a team member will read Dr. Seuss stories and some of the characters are there. Used to be you could like meet the characters after the stories, but right now it's all socially distant, but you can still sit and listen to the stories. And then right now it's not happening, but they do have castle projections at night on the Hogwarts castle. So that's the first five videos of my Universal Basics series. I did these kind of all in a row to get all this information out there. I will do more videos in the future. I can already think of things like talking about the different hotels, the different types of annual passes, dining. I need to do a video on City Walk. There's just so much with Universal. So be looking for those videos in the future. Thank y'all so much for watching. Wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.